Okay, so you want to um, kind of emphasize and give like a mood or a tone to your picture. There's a few things in PicMonkey um, that you may not know about. You know about the general edits. You know about the filters. You know how to put script on it. But down here, um, there are overlays and there are textures and themes. And so let's say, as we're doing our visual puns, that we want to take these very uh, plain and brightly lit eggs and make them into deviled eggs. Okay, so we're playing up that theme. I may go down to textures, for instance, and I could go to paint, and we could use the red um, as a theme. And let's say you want to do these overlays. You can do this with your own pictures on Photoshop as well. Notice that they're blending modes. These are just pictures of details of paintings. So the details you've taken um, of textures and cracked paint and things around the uh, building, you can use as well. But here's paint. Here's a blending mode. Okay, um, so that's one of the ways that you can go about this. It's on multiply. And let's say we like it, but we hate how much eggs, um, how much the eggs are disappearing. You can click on this little brush, which will turn into an eraser, and you can erase part of the texture or patterns that you put on. If it's erasing too much, you can also take the brush strength down. Right now, it's at like halfway. Okay. And so that's one of the things that you can do. I'm going to cancel that for now. I just wanted to show you that the, um, the textures were there. Um, let's go to a theme. PicMonkey does these wonderful things where they have themes for throughout the year. And if you click on these themes, um, they'll have all kinds of treats for you. So let's go to zombies because we're doing deviled eggs. So for instance, um, they have gashes, slashes, blood splatters, etc., um, radiation decay, zombie virus. Um, so it really gives you this like horror kind of effect. Crackle and ooze. Now under crackle and ooze, these are these great textures I just showed you, but these are even more crazy. Um, and depending on the on the uh, blending mode that you use you can get a lot of different variations. I'm going to click out of this one and I'm going to go to this blood splatter. It's still on sub subtract here. So let's put it on multiply. Okay, so I really love this crackle. I hate that it's over the eggs, but we're going to just use the eraser tool. I'm going to take up my brush strength for a minute, and I'm going to get the crackle pretty much off the eggs and leave it on the plate to give the environment kind of a, a um, burnt and corroded appearance. Okay. So let's say we'll, we'll apply that for right now. We might do radiation effect. Sure, I'll apply that. There's blood splatters. There's all kinds of these crazy things here on these themes. So we could put that on the egg. We could fade it out if it's too bright. Um, I'm going to just fade that maybe a little bit or just maybe leave it there. Um, oh, don't love that, so I'm going to undo that right now. There's blood spill. So I Blood spill is just painting with that color. Don't love that either. There's a, what's called undead text here. So if you wanted to put deviled egg in one of these creepy crawly texts, you could do that as well. But let's say we're done with that theme and we want to go to demon theme or, oh, here's hellfire glow. 
Um, we could add that. We could add lightning. So they're going to give you like little lightning effects to it. You can pull these. You may or may not know that these are here. Again, you can vary it. Um, there's smoke and fire, so they already have that for you, so especially if you wanted to put some flame from your eggs. Um, we could do that. Again, you always have, um, the ability to fade, so if it's taking over too much, you can do that. You can maybe put some smoke coming in from the bottom. And one more thing uh, that I want to show you is they have these overlays which are like stickers. And so if you wanted to, for instance, give a mustache to your deviled egg. <laughs> okay. And you think for, for some reason uh, he should also be wearing dark sunglasses. You can do that. Okay. Um, but there's a ton of banners and sticker kind of things um, here. There's even these grunge labels. So if you want it to write in a label for it, but you wanted it to be eerie, you could do that. Um, one of the things you can also do is over here in paper scrap, they have crinkled paper, old paper, and they have school paper here. So if you wanted to give it an impression that um, kind of make it a little bit comic -y, comical and not so scary maybe for kids to look at, um, you could put something like that on. And again, if you wanted to texturize that, you might um, find an embellishment under Day of the Dead and decide, I need to put a spider web on that paper. Maybe it's coming from the egg. And then again, um, you can write maybe with some eerie text or something on it. Um, but these are all under themes and overlays. So I wanted you to know that they're there. You might need to go through and um, look at, oh, we could put blood drops on the paper here. Now, I tried to put these um, drops oops, on top of the paper. If you want to put something underneath um, or on top or move them, there's ways to do that. So let's say I'm going to move that over here. And then I could put my text on later, etc. So this is kind of gory because we're making the visual pun deviled egg. Um, maybe the egg is, is saying something or, you know, dinner is at 5 p.m. Um, but there's all kinds of fun themes that you can do as well. Like they have the sweethearts in here. You can put roses and dreamy hearts and labels and buttons, um, etc. So if you're doing love sick or you're doing something about winter, you can also put snow in there. So notice how I just put snow all over my deviled egg person. And I could make the snow amount change um, to a lot. Okay. Um, or faded out to hardly anything. You could probably use this for stars if you're doing something in the solar system as well. All right, so those will add to your fun little um, flourishes on your visual puns and really help you tell that story.